like, what? It's yeah. coconut. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's, oh my God, It's the you. coconut thing. Okay, okay, great to see you. <laughs> Obviously, you know Eva. I know. Yeah. Yes, hi, nice <laughs> to hi, meet you. Nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> They're tired of me. Yeah. No, what? We're in love with her. Oh. As everyone is. So wait, so you guys, you play a married couple in Flamin' Hot. We just saw that beautiful scene. So tell us about your characters. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> me first. Um, I play Judy Montanez, um, Richard's longtime devoted partner. Um, she is his backbone, essentially, you know, yeah. behind every strong person, you gotta have a right hand man. And I think she knew the power of partnership and she really, she played that. Well said, yeah, I think that describes your character perfectly. What about you? Uh, I play Richard Montanez and he's the, He's the, the legend that helped create the the flame and hot snack Cheeto. Ever. Yeah. Best snack ever, best one of best selling snacks ever. With uh, with, she's always grooming me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me help you out. Constantly. Let me help you out. The whole <laughs> movie, she's petting I'm the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's fantastic in the movie. I mean, so fun. Hey, both of these are. I can't. I was crying watching them walk out. I know, even like watching that little scene, it's such, it, you do such a great job. I was telling you, y'all's chemistry is so great in the movie. Is it true though, Annie, that you, you used to watch Jesse when you were a kid? I was in love with Jesse as a child. Oh, oh my gosh. Aww. That sounds weird. And you got to play as, <laughs> no it doesn't. <laughs> that was me and Steven Tyler. Okay, he didn't okay, know okay. it, but we were gonna get married. I'll do um, Yeah, so that's amazing though. And then you get to work with him and not only work with him, but play as a significant other. That's cool. I, like I said, I was amongst two legends. Like I got, the, Eva obviously been looking up to her for forever and just her brilliance comedically and seeing that she was director and then directing this and then Jesse, I was in the middle of this like, I, all of my dreams are actualized. Like I, mm. to be able to be in a story like this where you have this man's dreams become actualized and yeah. for me to live it, I'm like, there's something happening in the cosmos and I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are like mesmerizing, by the way. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're so beautiful. I'm like, it's hard yeah. not to stare. So if I look weird, sorry. Um, <laughs> so how did you start acting, Jesse? I was uh, second grade, my first acting experience. I played, I don't know if you know the story. No. So the, you know the old, like the, the, the winter coats that have the fleece on the inside? We turned it inside out so that we could turn that into a bear costume. Mm -hmm. We put construction paper, made bear ears, and like I was yeah. the bear in like my second grade play. Yeah. We made this paper, brown paper cave that I, would jump out and say my line. Rah, so yeah. that, was, that was your line? That was your line? That was it, that was it. That was and all. I nailed it. Yeah, nailed it, nailed it. Then I took a hiatus for like 30 years. And then he booked this movie, so cool. Oh my God. <laughs> and then he went from Matt to this yeah. one, that's amazing. So wait, so Annie, do you remember the first role that you ever took that made you want to kind of be an actor? I've never not wanted to do this. I was, really? oh yeah. That's pretty cool to have that. Not everybody has that yeah. like right off the bat, you know? Yeah. I'm really I'm really grateful and really lucky that I get to be in the industry that I'm in. But yeah, I was a little kid daydreaming about, I, you know, this, and I would get in trouble at school. My mom would come in to class. I think I was in first grade, and she's like, what are you daydreaming about? One day when I'm gonna be in the movies, and she's like, well, you little you need to learn how to read. <laughs> oh, like, sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. You're going to have to know how to read the script. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Eva, do you remember your first role that you ever did? Well, I was an extra for a long time, and I didn't, I didn't have that. I didn't grow up wanting to be an actor. It was like I graduated from college, and I was like, I'm going to be an actor for my mom. I was like, I'm the disappointment of my family. <laughs> they were like, oh, geez, here it goes. But no, and then when I moved to Hollywood, I was an, I was an extra for like two years, and I loved it. I was the one, I was like, I'll do it, I'll cross, I'll be it, I'll do it, I'll be there. They're like, somebody needs to pour the coffee. I'll pour, I'll pour the coffee. And they were like, can somebody get else, rid of this girl? Can somebody, anyone else? <laughs> like, the gr that girl's on set again. <laughs> that was me. That's awesome though. But yeah, I, once it's I was on the set, I was like so curious about everything and always about behind the camera. No, not so much in front of, but like, what is that guy? What's that guy doing? Why is he standing there? What are you doing? They're like, there's See, an extra on the set again. <laughs> that's what I find interesting that you are involved in both. Cause I'm like, even like for me, like I don't really get into producing so much like with vocals or doing anything like that. I like the one lane. like oh. my, So I find it interesting that people's brains work like that. Like yeah. you see the full picture, like, I don't know that I'm that person. Mm -hmm. So I asked Eva about her side hustle earlier. Did y'all ever do that as a kid? Have any, Shh. do you any lawns? Do anything like that? Were well, you from the hood, <laughs> yeah. born in the side hustle, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. What did you do? <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. It is true. Yes. Uh, me, um, I sold candies. Yeah. Yeah, I created a whole business proposal for my mom. I was like, look, we came from a single parent household, right? Yeah. Me and mama, and I was like, listen, LAUSD, they took the chocolate out. 
I need you to front me $20. I'll give you back interest, all right? I'll pay a bill in the house every month. Mm -hmm. And I made paper, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so clever. Because sugar is good. Yeah. It is. yeah. Everybody <laughs> likes it. Supply and demand, man. What was right, your, yeah. Okay. Supply and demand. Did what you was yours, Jesse? Uh, um, mowing lawns, too, kind yeah. of. But, you yeah. Know, my, my parents would sell burritos and uh, empanadas and stuff like that whenever my dad would go to work or, yeah. or to school or whatever it was. So we were always hustling. Yeah. 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 I feel like I had so many jobs. Everybody's always like sees you and what you're doing now and they're like, I'm like, no, no, no. There were many jobs before this job. And I, I think that's cool. I think it's cool actually to have side hustle or just really have to work for it because then you appreciate it. You appreciate yeah. where you land. So.